Josh Norman and Odell Beckham Jr. We all remember what happened last year. And again, it's Beckham and Norman downfield. My goodness, it's like Mid-Atlantic Championship Wrestling out there. He's out of control. OBJ versus Norman. Who wins the rematch? Oh, no! These two are still going at it. Beckham got the best of Norman on that one. Of OBJ and Jay No. It's going to be one heck of a battle. The rematch, epic. All right, all right. This is our segment where we go man to man. We talk about some of the best receiver and defensive back matchups. Okay. We'll get right to it. OBJ versus Josh Norman. Since I'm playing defense, I'm going to take Josh Norman. Okay. And here's why I'm going to take Josh Norman. Josh Norman is a fierce competitor. One, doesn't back down from anybody. Two, the reason why he went to the Washington Redskins, not only to get paid, but to check OBJ. So when you, when you consider yourself as being one of the best defenders, why not go in that division and check OBJ twice a year? I like what you said, a fierce competitor. That is what OBJ is. He's not backing down from nobody either. Last two times these guys played, it's kind of went both ways. But I really believe that OBJ has the upper hand on Josh Norman. Last time these guys played, he had over 100 yards. The first time they played, if he just catch the ball, he'd have had a big game. OBJ is one of the highest receivers in the league right now. He's, he's found his swag. Mm -hmm. And right now, I got to go with OBJ on that. Okay, so let's talk about the second topic. We're going to talk about a little bit of Jordy Nelson okay. and Darius Slade. Who do you have, Mr. <laughs> Wayne? Oh, this is easy. The guy with the number 87 on his back. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I said OBJ was one of the hottest guys. Jordan Nelson is show. the hottest guy. Right. He is balling right now. Let me tell you this. He has caught at least one touchdown reception out of, in 11 of 15 games. He knows how to get open. What they've done, they've put him in the slot. Right. And he's found ways to get separation from guys. Aaron Rodgers is healthy. He's scrambling around there, finding 87 down, to, you know, anyway on the field. He can make all the throws. Jordan Nelson is a touchdown machine. I like Jordan Nelson. I, okay, call, I, like him, I, call, him, I call him white chocolate. That's what I call him. <laughs> but... At the same time, you can't forget about Darius Slay. Not okay. in the season, he talked about himself. He considered himself being one of the top DBs in the league. And this year, he showed it. There are one and two, Detroit, one and two when he doesn't play. And he's been an interception machine. He's been challenged. He's been taking on that number one corner kind of mentality for Detroit. He closed a few games out this year. So right. I know you love white chocolate, a.k.a. I, Jordy Nelson. Okay. But I'm going to go with Slay. Well, I, 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 so let's go with this third one. Okay. Cooper and Crabtree versus oh. the no-fly zone. Okay. Who you got? Oh, man, you know I'm going to go with Coop and Crab. You know, I'm taking Coop and Crab all day, and here's why. These two guys are probably the best dynamic duo in the league. Amari Cooper, pro bowler, but we can talk about Crabtree being a pro bowler, too. Derek Carr, when he played, who you look for the most? Crabtree. If you're not checking Crabtree one-on-one, -on -one, you're doubling Cooper, vice versa. But at the same time, the reason why Crabtree, the reason why Cooper wasn't getting as much attention, because Crabtree was handling his business. I'm going to go with no fly zone. Okay. Reason being, you said it early in the show, they're going to run the ball. Mm -hmm. They got Matt McGloin at quarterback. We don't want to put all that, all that pressure on them. We're going to run the ball, so that's going to bring those guys' numbers down. And one thing about the no fly zone, they will love to play spoiler against the uh, uh, Oakland Raiders. But they got that G5, though. I know it's a no-fly zone, but Cooper, Cooper, Cooper and uh, Crabtree got that G5 going. <laughs> All right, Dad.